Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be discussing BL Manwas that are still on hiatus as of 2023. Before we start, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you will be updated on our future uploads. Okay, let's start. Have you ever read a manhwa that piqued your interest but suddenly announced an indefinite hiatus? Most of them might probably be because of a lack of popularity, stories that are boring or with no plot at all to keep the readers from reading them. But there are also a few that are really good, but due to some reasons were stopped. Here is the list of some of them and the rumored or announced reason why it is on hiatus. 1. 1. Dear Benjamin A lot of us have already read this story. Remember the frustration we had when Felix couldn't even put two and two together to realize Benjamin is his son? The cute child was the spitting image of him, but he is just... This Omegaverse is a gem! He has a strong and cool Omega like Isaac, who is willing to do everything for his son. The last known chapter of this was chapter 45, and then they announced the hiatus. The reason for the hiatus was that the artist was caught in a controversy drawing child pornography. It was sad and disappointing to say the least. Here is the author's update regarding the issue at that time. So, to summarize, the author was calling people out on reading illegal translations, and people's excuse was, the artist is ped zero, so it's fine, and the author had no idea of this at the time. A lot of readers were suggesting that they get another artist to do it, but we never heard any update from the story. Unfortunately, this story might not be finished anymore, but for anyone who is curious how it ends, this story is a novel. I actually read it, and I know how it ended. I forgot the details now, but it was a happy ending. If you want to know how it ended, I can make another video and make a summary of the remaining chapters. Let me know in the comments below. Number 2. Dispar. Sowa and Miha are half-brothers, and Sowa, the affluent son of a gangster, is born to be a jerk who loves Miha but resorts to raping him. The worst part is Miha also loves Sowa. To make Sowa seem less of a jerk? He uses amnesia. It is through memory loss and some essential distancing from Miha that he finally realizes his mistakes. The plot depicts toxic relationships in romance comics and is not advisable for the weak heart. This story has been on hiatus for more than two years now. There was no announced reason why it went on hiatus, but the reader's prediction was maybe because the plot was problematic to begin with. The story contains abuse, rape, and incest that some readers do not want to read. So, when the hiatus was announced, it did not come to be a shock to the readers. Number 3 is Kamasama no Uroko, the dragon's betrothed. Chiharu's late grandmother has made a wish that was granted by the water god. The price for that wish was Chiharu himself. His grandmother has given him to Rin, a water god born from the legend of the white dragon. Chiharu is a bride of this elusive dragon god, a situation of which he is not fond of. Rin has proclaimed he wants Chiharu and him to be family. Refusing to leave his side, Chiharu lets him stay at his house. At first, Chiharu wants nothing to do with the dragon and refuses any of Rin's attempts to charm him. Yet over time, Chiharu warms up to him and even falls in love with him. Everything seems well until reality hits. Human and a god? How foolish to think that would ever work! 
This is a great story, especially because the author is no other than Maguru Hinohara. For some of you who do not know her, she is a gift of heaven to us. You'll understand once you start reading her books. Going back to the reason why this oh-so-beautiful story is on hiatus, that is because the author has an ongoing story that she is doing. The serialized chapters for The Dragon's Betrothed ended more almost four years ago in preparation for the new volume of Therapy Game, another one of her stories that is super top-notch, a must-read by the way. So as long as this is ongoing, The Dragon's Betrothed will be on pause for updates. Also, during this time, it is highly likely that they will push her to make a spin-off of one of the side characters on the therapy game. So, while waiting for this to be updated, we can read her other stories because it's just as gem as this one. Number four is The Wilting Light. Like the Manhua, at the end of the road, Hui Yun the general perished in combat and was reborn into the form of a foreign vampire goblin. Later, a local goblin discovered him and took him to a goblin village. Eon made the decision to adopt the name Soha in honor of his lover, who also happened to be the current Goblin King. The actual Soha, current Goblin King, first showed some resentment against Eun, but after being intrigued by the feeling of familiarity Eun emits, he began to be more accepting of Eun's presence. This is a good read, especially if you are a fan of Fantasy BL, but ready your heart because this is a love triangle, and you might feel sorry for the one-sided love of the second lead. As for the reason for the hiatus, rumor has it that the author, Foka, has declining health. The last post on her ex, as I have checked, was last 2021. Initially, she announced two months off and will be expected to return in June 2019 for season two, but it got extended and it has been five years. It is very rare to have a beautiful art style and well-written plot like this in BL Manwas. I sincerely hope the author is okay and I wish her a speedy recovery. Number 5 is Longtime Red Mall. Ready for a fresh start in life, Gunho opens up a sex toy shop in the countryside. He hopes to find a life of peace and quiet, away from his past as a notorious gangster, but his initial visions come crumbling down when the shop turns out to be a surprise hit. Gunho must now learn how to deal with curious customers and delve into the even more curious world of sex toys. With the help of Yeonwoo, he decides to take things into his own hands, wink wink, and test the products out himself. Looking for the newest dildo? A cutesy vibrator? How about sexy made costumes for men? Come check out Longtime Red Mall! As far as my research skills is concerned, I can't fit a reason why this was put on an extended hiatus. It is almost two years now since the last update, and up until now there is no news of when it will return. The Manwa is also a gem, having similar vibes with 19 days kind of humor, but with buff bodies. I hope it comes back soon! Tempters For Heisu, the idea of a demanding, sexually aggressive queen has always felt more appealing than being king himself. But when he thinks he's finally met someone who can turn that dream into reality, he discovers that it's not a woman who's waiting to dominate him, but another guy. Is this the sexual fantasy that Heisu has always been after? Can Heisu handle being pushed far beyond his limits? For this manhwa, there was no announcement that it will be on hiatus, but there was no update on this since the end of season one, and that was almost three years ago. Uh, the most probable reason for this might be because the author, Oh Guy, has a lot of stories she is doing, and Tempters did not gain a lot of friction for her to continue with season two. If you have more details regarding these, manhwas, let us know in the comment section below. That's it for now. Let me know if you like this content so I can make another one. Please do not forget to like to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be updated on our future uploads.